So, you want to group layers together and make your life a little bit easier in some ways in GIMP. Hey guys, welcome back, that's by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in GIMP once again, taking a look at how to use group layers and how to group layers together. Um, so, they're really pretty cool, and once I figured this out, it was it saved me a lot of time. So, let's go ahead, and I'm going to grab a color here, I'm just going to grab a nice blue, um, and I'm going to fill that. I'm going to fill our background with a nice blue. So maybe I'm doing some kind of project. There's a blue background, whatever else, and we have some font. So I'm going to just type in some font here. I'm going to type in uh, layer, right? And then I'll just scale that up by 400 pixels, and I'll turn it to white so we can see it. All right, so let's say that we wanted the bottom half of this word layer to have, like, a, a darker color so it looks like it's, you know, more shiny or whatever. I'm going to take the box tool and create a new layer, okay? Above the word layer, we're going to go ahead and just drag a box about right there, I guess, and then uh, grab a black color, fill that selection in, select none. Now, if I wanted to go ahead and overlay this over top of our text, let me hide the background for a second. If on our the black bar that we just created, if I put the mode to hard light and then drop the opacity down, you can see we have that nice... Uh, two-tone shine that I'm talking about but if we have a background like we do then you'll be able to see the rest of the box and that's not what we need we need it to look like this but with the background um, we could we could go ahead and go to copy we can go edit copy visible and then just paste as new layer in place and then hide the other two layers but there's a problem because now we can't edit the text we can't edit it anymore so that's not exactly great so if I go ahead and we go and we undo all that what we can do is we can right click and go to new layer group and then what we have to do now is we have to put every single layer we want to be affected in that group so I'm gonna put the word layer in that group and I'm gonna put the black bar inside of that group as well And as you can see as soon as I drop those in the rest of the black off of everything else just goes away and it only goes on to the layer now anything that's in this group will also be affected by whatever is above it so this black bar for example so if I have like a um, an orangey, well, yellowy, orange circle, um, like uh, that, like no, like new layer, out of the group layer, and like that. Maybe I want to move that, maybe right here, layer, crop the content. Okay, so maybe that's underneath the word layer for some reason. We got a yellow circle right there. If I put this in the group, you can see the black will be affect will affect the circle. So make sure anything you don't want affected by whatever you're overlaying it to is not in the group. Now, for instance, if I have this layer on normal, you'll see that you can still see it. This only works if you change the blending mode. So if I go to uh, overlay, then, well, I have to change it from white because you can't overlay on white. But if I change it to this color, you can see that now uh, it, it will also work the same exact way so that's uh, that's how you use group layers right there and in in another cool thing is you can go go ahead maybe you want to move this so like I want to move the word layer but you can see the black bar is not moving with it it doesn't move with it at all it stays right where it is so if I'm actually not if I'm on the bar or the word but if I'm on the actual group itself I can downsize if I'm on the actual group itself I can hold down shift and then click and then move everything in that group so it's super super handy if I put this yellow box the yellow uh, circle back in there and then go to the layer, hold down shift, move it, everything in that, that group moves together. And the cooler thing is, is now we don't have to worry about not being able to edit the text. Because if I select the text and then want to change it, I can always change it to layers. Or, or just lays. Lays, like chips. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Alright, so that is it for group layers. Uh, once I figured this out, like I said, it helped me so much because I do a lot with text and just, you know, same words and different effects and whatever else. So very helpful. I will see you guys and girls in the next one. Um, really quickly, let me just go ahead and just do another example here. So if I have this really quickly and then just overlay that onto the what are we doing? Oh yeah, overlaying that onto the text and then maybe blur a little bit. You can see that it's super easy to go ahead and just add effects on top of this because if this was not in the group layer, it would look like this and that's not what we need. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. It's very 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 useful to do. It's very useful to have in your in your tool belt of gimping. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Uh, but until then, bye-bye.